Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I do not think there's anything that epitomizes the summer season more for me than a white cotton dress. I love them. So I thought it would be a lot of fun just to run through a couple of those really timeless, versatile silhouettes that I think are an amazing staple for any wardrobe. So starting off with a floral print. For me, that tends to be something really feminine. So I've been drawn to blue and whites lately. It just reminds me of like French countryside, Versailles, that whole vibe. It's feminine, but it's really sophisticated as well. It doesn't get into like overly girly territory, which sometimes floral dresses can. And of course, blue and white, like what a perfect summer color story. Now to style this, I did want to stay very feminine, very demure. So I went with a bow sandal, which I mentioned before I wore as part of a recent Amazon campaign. Unfortunately, I did not get to keep these beautiful shoes from Luffler Randall, but they've been super fun to style and play around with. Thinking about when it comes to accessorizing a dress like this, wanting the dress to really be the showstopper in the sense that I don't want my shoes, I don't want my accessories to compete with the gorgeous number like this. I just want them to disappear quietly in the background. So I just stuck super simple and went with a pair of pearl studs, which, oh my goodness, what a beautiful compliment to a floral dress like this. The next style of dress that I think is definitely a staple for any wardrobe is a white cotton midi dress, but one that has just enough detail to it to keep it interesting without getting like really overwhelming. So in my collection, I have this gorgeous, option with this beautiful and delicate embroidery. I love it. It's so perfect for me just because I'm finding in the summertime, I tend to gravitate towards what I call manageable femininity in the sense that I want to look feminine. I want to feel beautiful, but I don't want to feel very girly, if that makes sense. I don't want to feel fussy. I want to feel very effortless and almost like elegantly feminine while still being laid back, if that makes sense. But in any event, what's fun about a dress like this, as is most white cotton dresses, is that they're basically blank slates. So this is the moment you can really zhuzh it up to kind of key into your own vibe, into your own style signature. So for a dress like this, I love sticking with a neutral shoe, which tends to be my default anyway. And I did go for those bow sandals because they're feminine and they add a little bit of kick to the outfit, but they're not like screaming for attention. Um, when it came to a bag, I definitely wanted to embrace the idea of adding texture to this. I mean, summertime is such a great opportunity to play with things like raffia, straw. So I went with my favorite crescent bag. I love this bag so much. You all have seen this countless amounts of times. And I've said this before, but one of the reasons why I'm drawn to a crescent shaped bag is because of the beautiful curves of the bag reminding me so much of the female silhouette and really paying homage to that. This to me is a way to additionally soften the look and keep it really feminine versus a bag that might have very angular lines, very sharp lines, which to me would just really kind of contradict the style signature that I'm going for. Now, despite the fact that I just said, typically I don't gravitate these days towards overly girly, fussy dresses, which I think look fantastic on other people. It's just not something that's working for me right now. However, this was one of the first dresses I purchased from an elevated brand. This is from Cleo Bella. I was schnookered by this dress. Oh my goodness. This is the dress I reserve. And I think we can all reserve for those days where you just are feeling like super feminine, soft, 
you do want a little bit of fuss to your outfit. Um, I just love the eyelet detailing on those sleeves. You have beautiful scalloping, the smocking across the bodice, and then that tiered skirt. Oh my goodness, where all those gorgeous details continue. This is 100% organic cotton. Cleo Bella is one of those labels where I am just drawn like a moth to a flame. All of their clothing is slow batch made. Um, it's handcrafted by artisans in India that they have had a phenomenal relationship with for years. And as I've said before, there is something about wearing a piece of clothing that's been handcrafted versus something that's been machine made. You can tell the minute you see it, the minute you feel it, the minute you have it on your body, it's just like this beautiful otherworldly feeling. Oh, I just love that so, so much. To me, it adds so much to the experience of just getting dressed and enjoying your outfit throughout the day. So once again, when it came to styling this dress, I did go for those bow sandals because I figured at this point with the dress, really being super feminine and soft. Let's just key into that whole vibe, continue with it. And then to even take it a step further, I decided to add my favorite straw hat. This is from Brixton. I've had it for years. And I mean, what a quintessential summer item. It's just such a fun way to once again, add some texture into your outfit that's still very natural feeling and a compliment to a natural fiber dress as well. taking a totally different direction with this next style of dress. I've said before that I am predominantly drawn to modern bohemian styles that I see coming out of the 1970s that are rooted in the French culture, just like that very sophisticated, yet laid back, yet bold, feminine vibe. Now, what I loved about styling this was a dress like this is very easy to take in a couple different directions, right? You could definitely stay on that feminine soft side because there are natural elements to a dress like this, which are very feminine and soft. You've got the puff sleeve, you've got the shorter um, dress length. I wanted to go a little bit more boho. This is the time where you play with statement type accessories, add a statement earring, Add some chunky gold bracelets like these two. I love these. These were handmade in Kenya. They're made from recycled brass. Once again, it's having something handmade added to your outfit on your body that just feels really satisfying to the soul. And then to continue with that boho inspiration, adding a pair of aviators that are a gold tone just to keep the cohesion, keep all the metals matching, adding a great straw clutch to make sure we get that texture. And then for the shoes, I just wanted to go all out. So I had to add my new espadrilles by Castaner. I talked about these shoes in my last French style inspired video, but oh my goodness, handcrafted in Spain, Castaner has been around for a hundred years and they use a lot of the same machinery and equipment that they used way back in the beginning. Their process for how their shoes are created is fascinating. And even though the shoe is a platform, it's still really, really comfortable. In fact, I have them on right now. I've been stomping around the house in them all day, mainly because I'm trying to prove to my husband that these shoes are actually comfortable. <laughs> So they make sense to have in my wardrobe, but I love the neutral color of them. A neutral shoe is always going to help elongate the leg because it tricks the eye into thinking there's a seamless line running from your torso down to your toe. So anytime you can find a pair of shoes that matches your natural skin tone, 
you're immediately going to create this beautiful, long, lean look to your leg. It is a stunning effect. This outfit really epitomizes that modern boho look that I am loving these days. So in thinking about the types of white cotton summer dresses we can all enjoy in our wardrobes, I didn't want to overlook one with a longer sleeve, and here's why. I've flipped all synthetics out of my closet in favor of natural fibers. So cottons, linens in the summertime, even though they might have a longer sleeve, to me are still really comfortable and easy to wear because those natural fibers are so breathable. Plus, when you have a longer sleeve, you can always cinch it up. But oh my goodness, like what another gorgeous homage to the modern boho vibe that I am just absolutely in love with because what we're gonna do is play up our accessories once again. So keep that in mind. Maybe modern boho isn't your vibe, but you love a dress like this, switch up the accessories you would use. As I said before, white cotton dresses are really just blank slates for you to build upon, to add layer after layer after layer, to really epitomize your personal style signature, and that's what makes them so much fun. So for me, that definitely meant going back to the statement earrings, the chunky gold bracelets, adding those gold rimmed aviators to keep the look cohesive with all the metals matching. And I also went for those espadrilles again, just because I thought, okay, if we're trying to pay homage to a modern boho look, row back to the 70s, you cannot go wrong with a platform sandal and loving the texture that that espadrille brings into this outfit as well. Okay, this next one, admittedly not for everybody, but I love a matching set. And for me, that means incorporating a crop top into the mix. Here's the thing to keep in mind about crop tops. As I said, they're not for everybody, but if you're enjoying them and you're kind of hesitant about trying one, Go with a style that number one is a neutral color because a neutral color is automatically going to tone down the inherent playful, teasing, kind of sexy nature of a crop top. So it's gonna keep it a little bit more demure. Also go with something that has a little bit of a sleeve because that's adding more coverage. So you're kind of making up for what is showing at the midriff. And also remember that not every crop top has to look like a bra, right? A lot of them really do just grace just an inch or two above the natural waistline. So they're easy to play around with and keep really sophisticated, again, modestly demure, but still interesting when you style them with a high rise skirt or jean or pair of shorts. So because we're talking about dresses and we're going for that vibe, I styled it with my favorite high-waisted white midi skirt. You guys have seen this on repeat lately, but it's such a beautiful staple in my collection. And again, because it is a higher waist, I'm closing the gap on how much skin I'm showing due to the nature of the crop top. And another way you can really soften a two-piece set is with your accent pieces. Adding something like a beautiful straw hat, so we're turning the volume down on that crop top quite a bit. And then continuing with that line of thought, when it came to the purse I styled it with, I went back to my Crescent bag. This is the perfect outfit in which a bag like this is going to play a huge role just because of the beautiful soft curves. So that is something that visually is going to add some softness to the look. It's just a beautiful effect that I don't think should ever be underestimated because obviously in this outfit, the thing that calls attention is the fact that you're wearing a two piece set and you're showing a little bit of skin around the midriff, which is why I'm keeping everything else super soft. Okay, a final dress that I think is a great staple for any summer wardrobe is one that is probably the most versatile to wear and that's another mini style. Now, this was a lot of fun to kind of play around with because you can get so many different looks, different vibes out of a mini dress like this. So because I wanted to keep this outfit a very quiet, I went with those bow sandals because I thought, you know what, they're light enough that they are not gonna compete with this dress, but 
as I said before, the versatility is definitely there to zhuzh this up, but also keep it very grounded. And how I did that was by going with a cohesive matching look with the accessories. So I added this beautiful, richly toned brown leather belt right around the waist. What's fun about wearing a belt with a dress is you can determine where you want your waistline to be defined. For me, that's always at a higher point. Matching the color of the shoes to the belt just helps pull everything together. So you have these standout pieces, but they are all very, very cohesive and they keep the outfit really grounded without getting chaotic at all. Okay guys, so that'll do it for some of the most versatile, timeless summer dresses. I think are beautiful staples for any wardrobe. But in any event, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.